there's how she's looking now. I'm going around here and uh, doing some parts here that I hadn't had gotten time to do before. Uh, this little bit of your hatch here, putting a little bit of paint on it right there, just where it's visible, where it'll uh, mesh into the other paint up there on the uh, hatch. Went around, did a little touch-up paint also, uh, little areas that I wanted to hit again. Oh, the uh, hole holders here. Went ahead and we're getting some paint on them. It's its first coats. What else have I done? We made the uh, little locking collar. Got it on there for the trolling motor. It's not on there yet. It's still in there. I'll bag it up. And that's about it so far. Well, where we are today here is we've just got the boat flipped over so I can get underneath the bottom of it here. As you can see, there is definitely no paint on there whatsoever. Uh, also, let's see, I got the uh, trolling motor sanded down and uh, painted it where it was looking a little rough on the uh, bottom of it. Let's go in here and look at that. Here's the trolling motor. I just got some primer on it for right now. Got the propeller off of this. <coughs> I have not painted it yet, just got the primer on it. Had sanded it down, uh, I think it was yesterday, and got the primer on it. It should be extremely good and dry by now. But I got the boat flipped over there, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some paint going on it. Fixing to get some paint on her here. Uh, there's some uh, spots on it here. I don't know if I've been laying in grease and well, don't know what, but I'm going to have to get some uh, soap and water and go over this real good, and then after I sand it of course and uh, then I can get some paint on here there's a few spots on here that I just redone on there and I'm gonna go back over on the sides too but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get on it so we can get done all right that's the bottom right there all painted up I slopped it on very very thick Painting the bottom was much more of a joy. I didn't have to worry about little bugs that got in there because it doesn't matter as long as I got the paint on real thick. Didn't have to worry about runs either. So I got it on extremely thick. Yeah, I know it's dark. Also got the uh, rest of the troller motor primed up. I will paint it tomorrow. Well, we finally got it all painted up how I wanted it. I'm kidding, that's just some frog tape on there. Fixing to paint it though, got her taped off here on this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and get on that right now. That's how it ended up looking. I don't really like that at all. It looks like some kind of uh, kinky old barbershop pole or something. So I'm gonna do all that over again. Yeah, I don't like that. Alright, the other side is back black. I have went out here and I pulled the boat out and turned it around to where I got the dry side in toward me. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit. Anyway, it's back black. I didn't like that at all. Let's see if I can make this side look like some kind of uh, extremely stupid barber pole. Now I'm in here mixing up some uh, spray paint, some uh, some khaki paint I couldn't get to spray. It'll spray after mixing it that well. I'm going to let it run there about five minutes or so. Well, this time uh, I didn't go with a khaki. Let me clean this lens again. I went with, well, I guess it's this lens that's dirty. There's a dirty lens here somewhere. Anyway, I went with the... Uh, Kind of a grayish color, flat. Didn't have much of the khaki crap. Uh, I'm hoping it don't look like a barber pole so much at least this time. I went at a uh, whole lot steeper, uh, I guess you call that an angle, going up and down through here. Maybe at least this time, uh, like I say, though, it won't look like a freaky barber pole type thing. Maybe it'll look like a stripper pole, at least.
see little paint seepage underneath it every once in a while on these, especially on the little bumps that I had to go over, but it's going to have to get over. The blue frog tape crap is better than the green, but I'm out of the blue. And I don't mean better for the paint not going underneath it, I'm just talking about it pulls off but it seems like to me. Let me see that thing. You don't know what you're doing. Give me this. Okay. That looks like a crazy zebra. Yep, zebra. Well, you know what? Looks like a, a, a zebra trying to say caution. You know what, though? <laughs> oh, crap. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, it reminds me of some kind of caution type thing. You know what I'm talking about with the stripes? Or prison. Yeah, there it is, escape prisoner. I need to put a little orange on there. Whale. Yikes. Okay. I'm certainly not going to do it again tonight right fast, so I will think about it. You know what would save me a lot of time is a freaking pencil, uh, some paper, some little colored markers, <laughs> or I could just uh, keep painting this boat over and over and over and over again until it weighs so much that a trailer wouldn't haul it. Yeah, go with that. Yep, that's the plan so far. All right, I'm gonna sleep on the zebra and uh, well, I'm gonna sleep indoors. I'm gonna leave the zebra out here and uh, we'll see uh, what I come up with tomorrow.